all too often children are just shuffled through, shoved out to institutions or foster care without knowing if there's loving family somewhere else. And time and time again, it has been proven that children do much better with friends, relatives, family than they do in a strange environment. So my bill says, in that bill in particular says that they must look for friends and family to the, fi to the fifth consequentity, which is pretty deep, to make sure that we've exhausted every family possibility that's out there. When they do find them, that's when family conferencing kicks in, my next bill, or the sister bill to this, which says that we bring the family in and have a, a group decision-making process to determine what the best course of action is for that child. I'll give you a brief example of why that's so important. We want to put children with family, but family will know what's good and bad about other parts of the family. The, you can't expect your county caseworkers to know that maybe Grandpa John might have a problem with drinking, but the rest of the family would know that. So in those situations, and many other situations, it's important to have the family get together to help determine the best possible course of action for that child. When you have children uh, grow up with family and under family's care, there's always a better outcome than if you, than if you put children with strangers or in a strange environment or an institution. And it's just not fair to the child to not try to give that child every opportunity for the best outcome, for the best future that we can possibly do. Be the first time in the United States of America that any state has set a methodology in stone saying you will do this for every single child that enters your, your uh, children and youth agency that might be going into foster care.